guys, it's Erin. Welcome back to my channel. So I've been meaning to film this video for over a week now, but I kept on putting it off, but I'm finally filming it. And so today's video will be my 2020 recap. I'm sure you've seen a lot of these already. And my goals for 2021 and what I'm hoping to accomplish in this year. So I have a feeling this is going to be a long video, so without further ado, let's get into it. Once the clock hit 12, I was so excited for the new year. 2019 wasn't the best year, especially the first part of the year because it was the second semester of my junior year, which was probably the worst time of my life. I spent the first day of the year with one of my best friends, Lily. We spent the first day of the year together the previous year, and we had a good time. Then there was the company laid over at my studio that we do every year. There aren't really any dancers my age there, but I got closer to the dancers on my team and we stuck together the whole night and escaped from the crazy little ones. It was almost the beginning of the calm season, so I spent a lot of time at the studio getting prepared and it was my first and last time doing a solo, so I was working really hard on that. I also took IB dance at school, so I had to work on the dances I learned in that class that I tested for. Towards the end of January, there was winter formal and I took pictures but didn't go to the actual dance because barely any of my friends were going and the ones that were had dates and I didn't want to fifth wheel them. Then the next weekend was the first comp for the season and I had so much fun and was happy with my performances for the most part. I'm always going to be hard on myself though and think that I could do better. Two weeks later was the second competition of the season and little did we know that it would be the last. I got a standout award for myself and I was very proud of myself because I didn't think it was my best performance. Not much else happened in the month of February except that I spent my Valentine's Day at the studio choreographing a solo for my IB dance class and I helped one of my best friends Skylar with Senior Assassins and it was a fun night. Then March came around and the beginning of it felt normal. I went to the beach with my friends the weekend before school shut down and I remember thinking that I was looking forward to more days like that with them. Then we got the news that school had shut down and Skylar and I had hung out and had a sleepover for the last time before quarantine started. It was a lot of fun and sad that we couldn't hang out anymore. I was optimistic and thought that after a few weeks we would go back to school and dance and everything would be fine. I started to work out and spend more time with my family. Things weren't looking up and we had to do online school and I started to doubt more that we were never going back to school. I still continued to work on my solo because we thought that we were going to be able to compete for one last time, but of course we didn't. Pretty soon the days started to blend together. Before I knew it, it was May and that meant my 18th birthday. By then we were able to gather in small groups outside. So me and a few of my friends went to a park on my birthday and had a picnic and just talked and laughed. I had a really good time and I think everyone else did too. My heart completely broke when my dog Java died exactly a week later. I didn't have that much time to grieve because that weekend I went to the desert with my family and that probably wasn't the best for me in the long run. Then June came and that meant graduation. We had a walk down graduation on a popular street to walk around and shop at in our town. Our whole town came together to help us celebrate us getting through this hard school year. Even though it wasn't a traditional graduation, it was still fun and probably better than a normal one. We were able to go back to dance, but of course there were new regulations and we had to wear masks and not get too close to each other and have the doors open. I got in a weird state of mind and cut off most of my friends because they were always hanging out without me and I was still not over the loss of my dog and there were just too many emotions for me to deal with. But then I started to get really close with one of my best friends from dance, Briley. We started to hang out all the time and she became one of my very best friends and was always there for me. I also started to hang out with one of my best friends, Kiana, again whenever we had the chance throughout the rest of the year. I would still hang out with Skylar as well. In July is when we met Reed at the beach because of our dance friend Brad, and then I reconnected with more of my dance friends and we became inseparable. We were always going to the beach and then going to the street that Brad, Reed, and Carson all lived on. At the end of July was when we had our dance recital but we had it at our studio because of COVID. That was the last time that I danced at the studio that I spent most of my time at, and it was weird saying goodbye to that part of my life. I also had another graduation, but this one was a drive through one at the school, and we got our diplomas. In August, I went to Tahoe with my parents and continued to hang out with all my friends. And then sadly, school started. 
College online was definitely difficult, especially since college was something new. There was a lot of work, and I spent the weekdays doing schoolwork all day. And on the weekends, I would hang out with my friends. So basically, the rest of the year, I spent doing school and hanging out with my friends. So cue montage of that. Okay, end montage. I even got to reconnect with two of my school friends during Christmas break. It was nice being able to catch up with them. Now it is the new year, 2021, and I can't wait to see what this year has in store. Okay, so now on to 2021. Um, I'm gonna, if you see me looking down, I'm reading from something. And we're getting comfortable, so that's why I'm laying like this. So, in 2021, I want to be more productive and focus more on school and not get behind and stay on top of my work because it really does add up. Since I don't have time for dance anymore, I want to work out or at least do something, like do some sort of exercise every day. I want to write more in my journal and read more. I want to get closer to God and have a better relationship with Him because I feel like I've strayed away from Him a few different times these past couple of years. I also want to strengthen my other relationships more because this pandemic has made me realize how important my friends and family are to me. I also need to go on my phone less, so instead I'll be reading, painting, and starting to write a book because I love to write. 2020 really opened my eyes and made me become a completely different person. If I want to get something done, I can't keep putting it off. I have to set goals and just do it. Nothing really matters if you think about it. Like, we all die in the end, so you shouldn't let anything get in the way of chasing after your dreams and making them a reality. So with that being said, I hope everyone has a great 2021 and never stops dreaming. Bye! See you next time!